My name is uh, Kenneth Lango. I come from uh, Emoa village. I am the chairman of uh, uh, the network. The Sefanoa is a community-based environment organization that is based on the northern part of the island of Efate. In our local dialect, Tasi is for sea and Fanua for land. The main reason for setting up the Environment uh, Educational Resource Centre for the network is especially for us to have a main base, a main centre where we can uh, have meetings, we can organise workshops and also it is uh, important for us to, uh, to give environment education to uh, children in our schools, primary and secondary and also uh, people in the communities. The main reason for us to set up this community-based environment network is especially to educate and give people information, awareness to the people, especially about um, our resources in the sea, the resources we have on the land, and also especially about how to manage our waste that we have our, in our individual communities. My name is Elizabeth. I come from a nearby village. I've been working in the school for 10 years now. For the past um, five years, I teach as a normal teacher. And then the other five, I worked as a, in the school admin as a principal. Kenneth was my mentor. He was actually the reason behind why I became a teacher. I love the way he, he teach and he's so smart. He's very kind to me as a student during my time. He's a very good teacher and also he's the reason why I became a teacher. Uh, I love to tell a story that uh, uh, one time I, I got out there swimming and I, I found a uh, turtle and um, uh, it go it dive under water and out there in the river and when we, uh, when I go closer I can find out that uh, that she was struggling with uh, with a plastic bag on my, uh, her mouth. That is why it like it's promoting me to become a marine champion because, because I, I can see how she struggled to swim and yeah, bring me a lot to care for the, the marine life out there in the world. Yeah. Hey, my name is Lisa Vichoel. I come from Sunai village on Moso Island. And I am a member of uh, Tasivanoa Environmental Network. But in my community, I am the chair lady of the Environment uh, Association in our community. And I'm also a marine champ for Tasivanoa. There's no more giant clams. So the giant clams that are now here in our village it was ordered from Tonga to here. We keep them here so that they can breed again and we can have more giant clams. This shipwreck was wrecked here on, um, during Cyclone Bam, but uh, after the wreck, the community has asked the authorities to come over and see, but. Uh, they came over, the fisheries, the environment, and the harbour master. They came over and went back and didn't do anything. So it's just sitting there. People in the village 
I worried that the oil might spill into the sea and spoil the marine life. And also we are scared of the tall poles and the ropes that when it's windy, we are scared that it might fall on top of the houses close by or hit the children, especially when they are walking around. I think in 10 years time, Vanuatu people will build more strong houses because after the cyclone bomb came, many people lost their homes. So now they are trying to build concrete homes. There are some things that we have to change, like uh, different crops we plant, so that if a disaster comes, but we know which crop is ready to harvest. Cyclone Bam is one of the strongest cyclones that we have faced in this country. Some of our children, very young children, they never experienced a strong cyclone like Cyclone Bam. Maybe they will not, never forget Cyclone Bam in their whole life. Oh, that's, that's one of the things that uh, usually it's the saddest uh, thing in my life. Uh, growing up, I didn't experience a monster cyclone like cy Cyclone Bam, yeah. So this is one of my, uh, like, a saddest thing in my life, yeah. You are inside Emo village. I'm a, I'm a youth coordinator. I'm looking after every youth, so this is my position. We have to be cleaning up for all community. Take out the rubbish in the kitchen, inside the houses, fire the water, cleaning up the ribs, and also the bush in community center, market, shops, and everything. My committee already organized the truck to pick up all the waste at the main road to be given out. So these are the, 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 the activities for this month. And I am glad to give you information for our clean or for our environment today. We buy all these yellow plastic bags from the municipal council, so they will feel responsible to come and pick up all the uh, rubbish in the yellow plastic bag and dump them in the dump site in Port Phila. Mm. The way we work together is the only way that we develop our Tasipanwa environment network. Because if we happen, if we happen to not to work together as a team, maybe the Sefanoa will not be, will not come to us it is today. I continue and I never have that mentality of giving up. I think it is important for me to do this uh, work is because um, I have been teaching in the past and uh, when teaching, most of the time I also teach children about the environment. It is something that is also in the syllabus. If we throw rubbish around on the land, it pollutes the place, our environment. But it makes our environment look dirty, very bad, okay? But if we also throw the rubbish into the ocean, we throw rubbish into the sea, what do you think will happen? Who can describe this picture here? What, what's this? What's this? Um, it's a? It's a turtle. Okay, what do you think happened? Giving information about the environment, giving environment education to, not only to the children this time, but to adults as well, people who live in our communities. So that is why I think it is important for me to, to continue with that. The government already stopped plastic, takeaway box, and also the straw 
the straw you use to drink uh, lemonade or coconut or whatever, they stop the straw as well. So we have to make sure that we, we protect our environment also because we always say that our environment is our life. So we have to make sure we protect our environment so that we keep on uh, living and we keep on uh, living happily on this earth. Thank you.